Okay, so now let's move on to question number nine. Yeah, so question nine. How do you calculate number of moles from milliliters? Okay, so easiest way to do that is by using this concentration formula where concentration is equal to number of moles over volume. So if we know the concentration and we know the volume, we would just need to multiply uh, those two values together to get the number of moles. Um, so another way to do that, so this is for solutions. If we had like an ideal gas and it wasn't like a liquid, we can also use the ideal gas formula, which is PV equals NRT. So it just depends on what you're given in the question. So P is pressure, V is volume, N is the number of moles, R is the gas constant, and T is temperature. And we can rearrange this to solve for the number of moles. Again, it's just what depends on what you're given, and it depends if you have like a solution or if you have like an ideal gas. But uh, let's look at the junior tutor's answer. Yep, so to answer, it just depends on what information is given. If you're given a solution, we can use its molarity. So I used, I said concentration, but molarity is like the same thing. To relate the number of moles to the, of the solute to the volume of the solution. And you can do number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. And they also have the ideal gas equation as well. Number of moles is equal to PV over RT. So the junior tutor also added if we are given the density of a substance, recall that density is how much volume of a mass of a substance occupies. So density is equal to mass over volume. We can use the molar mass of the substance uh, to relate the mass of the substance to its equivalent in moles. Yeah, so that's another way of doing it as well. You can get number of moles is equal to density times volume divided by the molar mass. Yep, so the solution is correct. Thank you.